this set. This is the first time for an open mic. We've had a duo Woo! in here. Um, everybody put your hands together for Office Baked. Woo! Office Baked! Well, what you're about to witness uh, now for the thing apart, this is Office Baked. How you guys? I'm Jay. I'm one half Office Baked. Right here is my co-host, Mackenzie. I like to uh, sit back and enjoy a sample of our brand of comedy, you know? Morgantown has a uh, special look about it, you know? That uh, hoodies, tattoos, it's really unique. It's uh, like a cross between a meth dealer and an eccentric art student. Hey, I'm an art student. Hey, 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 I'm not complaining on it. I made fucking eight bucks waiting in line to get in here. Shit. <laughs> Thank you, I know. Um, I mean, I'm, at the same time, you know, I realized it said that you had to have proper ID to get in, and. I, I, I started thinking, I'm like, well, what if you don't have proper ID? You know, would I have to do some crazy shit? Because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to doing some crazy shit. I just need to know that the crazy shit is coming. You know, I, I mean, I, won't, I don't want to turn it down. I just need to know that it's coming. He had some woman at work one day offer, or want a discount and offer to do some, uh, some of that weird shit. Oh, yeah, she even was on the phone and saying, now, Daryl, tell him I give a good blowjob. That was his husband. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, we got, I got to go. <laughs> How many of y'all have jobs? Woo! All right. So y'all have been to interviews, right? I appreciate honesty in interviews. I mean, I worked hard to get to be a manager. I worked real hard, and... I appreciate honesty, but when someone's a little too honest, I start questioning like life choices. And there was a giant Sam's Club size red flag when this dude came in for an interview. Like he sat down and he's like, look man, my last job was an entrepreneurship. And I said, okay, you know, like that's cool. You know, were you mowing grass? He says, no nah, man, it was in the gray area, kind of like growing grass, it just didn't quite work out. He was in the cooking business. Exactly. So, you know, okay, first red flag. Second red flag, he goes, look man, the first phone number I put down was my girl's number, but if you hire me, even though that phone ain't working right now, it will be by the end of the week. <laughs> then he says, I put a second number on there, and that was only for text. And I need you to put in quotations, work, so that I don't text you back and be, yeah, man, meet me at the corner. I got that good, good. <laughs> Granted, he did say that the, the text-only phone was his work phone. Yes, And yes. we still have to put work at the beginning of yeah. the <laughs> So, I mean, mind you, I, I obviously didn't hire this very qualified gentleman because then when I asked him about past jobs and he informed me of the entrepreneurship, he told me that I could call him to ask him about how good he did his last job. The, I can't make this shit up. I'm not bullshitting him. He put, he put boss beside his name on the resume. <laughs> So, mind you, I turned 40 this year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For a month, I thought I was 41. I had my friends correcting me. I kid you not, I'd be mid-conversation. Yo, man, I'm 41. Jay, you're 40. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's how the conversation went. And I think it's because of this story that I lost a year of my life. So I'm going to bring you into my world. On my birthday, I got to go see the Penguins play. Any fans of the Penguins out here? Woo! Okay, thank you. We went and saw the Penguins versus the Kraken. About an hour before we leave, I decided it's a brilliant idea to do edibles. <laughs> exactly, he knows where this is going. <laughs> so, I ate about one and a half edibles. Jay is gone. Now, mind you, edibles are supposed to heighten your your senses your feelings your insecurities so i get to the to the the stadium and i'm watching the game this shit's turning into a documentary i'm watching Sidney crosby's life story i'm like this is fucking awesome it feels like a 20-hour documentary i'm fucking watching this i'm like this guy needs a fucking emmy so mind you my girl texts me and she's like hey how you doing Bing. Oh shit, I am fine, smiley face, send. Beep! 
No, you're not. You are high. <laughs> yes, I am. Smiley face, smiley face, heart emoji. I love you. Send. 20 minutes later. Or what it, feels like it. <laughs> she didn't text me back that she loves me. <laughs> Holy shit, what if there's a big black guy in my house fucking my wife? <laughs> what if she doesn't love me? This, this is the end of the world. I'm trying to watch a documentary about Sidney Crosby. I'm losing my life. I'm getting a divorce. All this shit's playing out. Hang on a second. Pull out the phone. The all caps now. I love you, exclamation point, exclamation point, heart emoji, smiley face, heart emoji, sad face, sin. No text back. Finally, 45 texts later, she texts back and she goes, Jay, I'm fine. Enjoy the game. Didn't process. She didn't say she loved me. I love you. Heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji. Send. Ding. Bing. I love you too, dumbass. Good. Now I can get back. And if you've ever been on edibles, <laughs> everything slows the fuck down. <laughs> At, during the game, there was so many commercials for McDonald's, and it was probably only one, but to me it was like 50,000. And it said, enjoy, after the game, enjoy a four-piece chicken McNugget and a large Coke. And I sat there and I'm like, I really could go for some fucking chicken nuggets and a large Coke. So I'm thinking about this whole thing for the whole time. I'm like, I really need some chicken nuggets and a large Coke. So we get in the car, we're heading out to go home. And I said, let's stop at McDonald's. What transpires next gives it completely away that Jay was high as a fucking kite. We get to the drive-thru and I say, I would like six four-piece chicken McNuggets. I, to I totaled it out. That's going to be six dollars. They're a dollar a piece still at the time. I said, I also would like a large fry and an Oreo milkshake. Now the guy at the window says, we don't do that. We put the Oreo stuff inside the McFlurry. I said, no, no, no. What you need to do is dump that stuff right in my milkshake and stir it around. So I look at my friend who went with us to the game and his mother who was in the driver's seat. And I'm still in my head. I have the good J, the bad J, and my conscience all telling me I'm high as fuck. But I can't tell his mom I'm high as fuck. So I'm like handing him her a wad of ones that looked like I was the greatest stripper in Morgantown. And she goes, what is this for? I says, it's for the nuggies. I ordered a lot of food. <laughs> Pretty sure she knew. <laughs> now, mind you again, like I said, my name is Jay. We are Office Base. If you want to look us up on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, um, thank you. Have a wonderful evening.